I really love to see the students engaging with the artists and I love making that opportunity happen for them. And she has, in collaboration with both the Peak Skills School Superintendent and its art coordinator, HVCCA is really making an impact. Your legacy is here. You know, it's, this is gonna be here forever. You're gonna be graduating, coming down here, and being like, look at, there's our name, and there we are, so. What I love about our in-school artist residency programs is that we're providing students with an opportunity they would not ordinarily get in a typical public school setting. We bring artists into the schools. Did you, did you pick out a space? Not yet. Oh, I should have my yeah, exactly. Students are able to learn new skills from them. They get to feed off their wonderful energy and get inspired by their creativity. It's wonderful to see students react to the artists and see the possibility like, yes, you can be an artist and that be your work. I always tried to make the point, they're not much older than you. Look at what they're doing. They're traveling the world doing this amazing project. It's about social justice. It's artistic. They're using social media. It made it very accessible for the students. This year we've done four or five residencies so far. We started with beatboxer and body percussionist Michael Feigenbaum at the Summit Academy. He took students for five days all day through drumming lessons and they created together a bucket orchestra. It was really fantastic. Then we had artist Jeff Gibson who is in our exhibition Word and he came and worked with the English department students from the Peekskill High School and they had a full day here. They got to see his work. He explained about his process, and they did a day of writing. Donna Mickelson from Hudson Valley Center for Contemporary Art contacted us over a year ago about doing this amazing artist in residence program with the museum and bringing in these awesome artists to work with a lot of our high school students. The collaborative nature of the work gives students an opportunity to bond and have an experience together that's going to be long lasting. Honestly, it gave me like a new way to think. Because when you have a teammate or like whoever working with you, it's not only your brain. It's two brains coming together, so like 50-50 plus another 250. Art is a universal language. Everyone can understand it. Everyone can appreciate it. My wife and I feel so strongly about art and how and its impact on people, just visually and being able to participate in it. Uh, the fact that these kids had this opportunity and were able to execute on it and now it's part of their life um, is this huge. It's, uh, it's, it makes a big impact on kids and, and hopefully we'll stay with them for the rest of their lives. We have some amazing students in this, uh, in this school district that have been excelling in all areas of uh, academics, athletics, and performing arts and this is just another opportunity to provide those youngsters an outlet if you will uh, and connect them to their strengths and their preferences. It's been amazing. We're looking forward to building on it and building on it and continuing to be part of those solutions. I'm an artist and I'm an educator and so I get to join my two passions. Using art as a vehicle to build community is it's one of the best ways to bring people together. Art is art.